Hi guys, it's Luton here. I'm back for another cutting room episode. Now, uh, today we're going to be showing you how to cut up a video uh, for episodes. Now, if you're using the Elgato Game Capture HD, it does have the software, which I've already shown in another episode, how to just do your basic simple cuts to create new videos from that. So say you were to record a two hour long session of a let's play or just kind of any game playthrough. And then obviously afterwards you want to edit it into individual episodes that you can easily upload a uh, smaller amount, so maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Now you can use the Game Capture HD software that would do that totally well. But I also have used another technique uh, before I had that software, and I'll show you this now as well. Uh, it's using the program QuickTime, which is a Mac uh, program, obviously. Um, I think it runs on PC as well, or you can get a version or you can somehow run it there as well if you wanted to. Uh, but there's obviously other video editing programs. But um, I just wanted to show this as a specific way of doing it. As always, there's always going to be multiple ways that you can do certain things. And it's always good to just know different ones. And for me, posting these videos out there, I feel like, you know, it helps if I post what the way that I do it. And then, you know, there's going to be some people that can learn from that as well. So in the QuickTime program, I've just opened the video here just as you normally would. Here's our little uh, sort of play bar right here. And uh, as you can see, I'll turn the volume down and uh, here's our gameplay all right right here so this is the whole session and I'm going to want to split this down the whole thing is like about an hour long it's 50 minutes so you know obviously I can't I don't want to post like a 50 minute episode so I'm going to split it into a couple of other episodes very very easy to do uh, you can use the shortcut or you can go up to edit and you can go to trim okay right here or you can click Apple T if you're on the PC, it'd be Control T. So you're going to click Apple T, and then it brings up this bar right here. And basically, you see these little yellow handles either end. Those allow you to select what section of video you want. So, for example, what you want to do is you obviously want to find a section in the video which is, you know, going to be appropriate for you to cut it at. So I decided about here. Right, when he transitions, they've been having a conversation, and it cuts basically to the next scene here, where they're in this room. So about there, in this dark spot, is about right. So I grab my handle, and I remember whereabouts that is, and I just come up to there. Okay, and then I click Trim, and that cuts it down. And then from here, I would just click Save. Okay, and then it's going to save that file out. It's going to bring up your save file, and you can save that straight out to wherever you want it to go to. Now, once you've done that, you think, okay, well, you've cut that. How do you get back? Well, it's very simple. You just press Apple T or you trim again, and you can see that it's retained that original whole file, and we've just got the handles. Now, even better, if you don't do anything else right at this point, what you want to do is grab the left handle, and this is quite important. Grab the left handle, pull it straight across, and it'll go, it won't go any further, look. Okay, so what I've done is I've pulled that handle straight up to the point which I cut at, and then I grab the right handle and extend on, and that means you will have a seamless match, okay, from that point where we stopped. So this next episode will immediately begin from the exact point where that ended, and then I can just run forward to whatever I want the next section to be, and then I can just repeat the process again. Okay, so let's just say it's, I don't know, uh, here. Okay, so I'll just click, obviously, trim. And that trims that section down. So we've got, you can see from that exact point in time, all right, when we start to play, it will run forward. There's a the scene, okay, and then it runs forward to where we stopped. And then I just would go Apple T again, and then I would just bring that handle straight up again to that point, and then I would just extend it on to the end of the episode, and I click trim again. And then I'd save this uh, short section down as well. And then that's it. And then you've got your three episodes ready to go. You upload them and uh, job done. So that's basically a simple little technique. It's a good way of cutting down a long episode into smaller bite-sized pieces that you can actually use for episodes. Um, but as I say, remember that the Elgato software does have a, a functionality built in for you to be able to do this as well. This is just another feather in the cap for how to do these kind of things. Um, it's a process I still use sometimes. Um, it's very useful to be able to have multiple ways of doing things and again sometimes um, as a youtuber you may not be at your home all the time this is the thing sometimes you're out and about uh, sometimes you may be on a trip and it's useful to be able to have multiple techniques uh, for example if I was a bit tight for time I've got a lot of videos editing up I've got a lot of things happening in work and you know maybe I don't have time to sort of you know do it in the actual software before I go maybe I need to literally just grab like three or four raw files stick them on a memory stick 
or you know an external uh, hard drive take it with me and I'm going to need to edit that up on another program that maybe doesn't have that software there so it's useful to be able to have multiple techniques when you're doing these things hope that's been a help guys any questions drop them in the notes below answer them if I can and I'll have some more cutting room coming up very soon thanks for watching